good? Yo, what's good? I'm gonna say uh, all praises to Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shah Basham, Rakaq Badash. You see that picture of how they got him? <laughs> that's sweet how whoever did that, man. I'm gonna see the camera picture. That's that kind of dope, man. That's probably too. Did y'all yeah, yeah. hear about Alex Jones getting caught? Right so these ain't up wicked, man. They ain't gonna pick that. Alex Jones got caught jacking off the tranny porn. You know, that's a wicked act for itself. They, they, it. <laughs> it, nobody's business. Go, just uh, get on Twitter, Google, Stop type in Alex Jones, Jones tranny porn. He was. He was boy. He, he was kicking on Charlie Chain and all the other weirdos. Uh, he raised the question: What was him and Fair Louis Farrakhan doing with Iron Tones? Oh shit! You know what I'm saying? You know? Now, yeah. Alex Jones. Everybody probably already should have already know him once it was a fact. But we went for the big, the big bombshell to come out like, you know, Nate Bryan up game. You know what I'm saying? Farrakhan, like some big celebrity, you know. It's all gonna get, man. It's coming out. It's coming out of the open, man. Let me find one of the darkest, because you know what they You get that out, big, though. Like some darkness or whatever. You see that fraternity video I put up about Nate? How it looks like he's with the, uh, what's that called? The OPP? Omega yeah, Side yeah. Side? It looks just like it, too. So he might be doing some gay shit. Man, we ain't got no proof on it, but. Wicked is the wicked. When you start making big moves and doing big things. You gotta do some weirdo shit. Big thing. Nate's doing big thing. The Sirach 1 and 30. Draw not thyself, be thou far, and bring dishonor upon thy soul, and so God discover thy secret, and cast thee down in the midst of the congregation, because thou promised not in the truth, to the fear of the Lord, but thy heart is full of deceit. That was a fire scripture right there. That was a perfect scripture. Right, the Father Jones, he's, he's out there. He's like, he's love, he's love. Same time, bro. He got enemies too. The man's a rich man, man. Let's just face it. He's a rich man. And he loves picking the food. <laughs> I better stop watching Alex Jones. Alex Jones had his day back then. Yeah, he ain't no problem. He had his off. time. He had Now he's just a goddamn Republican. Right, right. <laughs> Is he a Republican? Well, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, okay, okay. You know, back in the day, he was... I he, couldn't fucking tell. Back in the day, he was against every, everything. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was telling him. Now he's supporting fucking yeah. candidates and shit. Well, Bill Hicks, yeah. Right. Oh, Bill yeah. Hicks. <laughs> back in the day, back in the day uh, Bill Hicks. Fuck up, you got your ass in the belt. What's that again, Sabre? Back in the day, when I was growing up, I was picking out his gun. You got the belt. What's your hand? There you go. Oh, yeah. The belt. You got it again. Hey, powder. hey, sometimes... You got, you got, you got powder in school. Right, that's right. Yeah. You got home? That's what you got another one. You got home. You only go to the babysitter and like, when did you got another one? You got home for the babysitter's house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn neighbors are what? Oh, yeah, the neighbors. The neighbors. Yeah. The neighbors. Yeah. And kick out there, don't know anything about books. Boy, if I was a kid, you barely let you just calculate. You wasn't no iPad, cell phone, calculate. You had to use paper, pencil, and a book. You had to use your mind. That's right. You know how to remember. Had to remember. That's all, that's all by design, though. No, no, no. no, 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 no. We were just talking about the other day, man. Yeah. Some bitches talking about, man, uh, I'll never allow no teacher or nobody, no stranger, to whoop my kids with a paddle. You know, and, it's, and the children's like, nah, you're right. I didn't know I would fuck that teacher up. They had a paddle with the holes in them. Yeah. They're good. Yeah. 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 There wasn't no, there wasn't yeah. no, uh, yeah. you know how they got the belt in my belt where I could sit up and sit on my hands here. Oh, I, 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 I remember them days. I remember them days. Oh, my grandma had a paddle. <laughs> my grandma had a paddle with everybody's names on it. After you got your ass whooped, you put your name on it. You, you graduated. You didn't want to get your name on it, you know? Damn. You know what was going your parents? You had to put your kick knocked out, buddy. Yeah. yeah. Right, we used to get hit with switches, man. Extension cord. Don't go get a extension cord. Don't go get a small switch. Yeah. yeah. When you get the big one, yeah. go, your dad gonna go get the tree. My mom hit me with an iron skillet. Real, damn. She hit me with what? Whatever was close. Like, you shoot a statue of limitation, they went down with that one. You might want to hit her with a charge. You know what else? For real. It, 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 it wasn't really abusive today. That's what it was. I know. I, know. I, I mean, remember I, still I, going I, to school I'm with you. I'm sure it was, but it's not like it is now. Yeah, yeah. Right. All these monsters. Yeah. I remember going to school with welts. Actual welts. They were dead. Yeah. The skin was lifted. You know what I mean? Get your ass whooped, man. All over your fucking body. Yeah, motherfuckers know what it is when they recognize it too. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> teacher too, Mike. You were yeah. taking up, weren't you? I remember all that shit, man. And I wasn't necessarily a bad kid either, though. Yeah, me, but I you was, know what? That was discipline good. was necessary still. Yeah, I knew better to get my ass whooped. Discipline still necessary. But that was on point, though. Yeah, that was way up. I was thinking he must have missed. Yeah, he must have heard something. Yeah. But that's all. Yeah, yeah. Ecclesiastes, if you finish with that out. His mercy is manifest to every creature, and he has separated his life from the darkness of the Yeah, we're getting back to Alex Jones in that training form. <laughs> but yeah, you gotta watch yourself, man. That's why you got what's that word? You gotta be uh you gotta examine yourself. So you got a lot of dudes that have, you know be out here teaching the truth. Somebody might catch y'all doing some fucking weirdo shit. You know what I mean? You don't want to get caught out there like that. That should put the fear of the Lord on you. It ain't gonna do it. Well, fuck that. Yeah, we had to go to grow a fucking beard and shit. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, he did grow his beard up, didn't he? Yeah. And he knows about Alex Jones knows about the Israelites too. That's why the Lord jacked him up. He was Remember, he had that video he made, that was about what? Yeah, that's probably six, seven, eight years ago. He's like, you royal black Hebrew Israelites. Yeah, but way, it was like a, it was like a year before then, maybe a couple years before that. He had a dude when on he, the show. Uh, when dude called in. Yeah. And, he could, and dude, he just let dude speak, man. Yeah, dude went and dude ran down on him, ran it down on him, man. Most like that motherfucker supply, and he did come out talking about the Hebrew Israelites. But you can tell Alex Jones watched Great Millstone in particular, because he's always quoting the same scriptures in the same context as them. You, ever, you notice that, right? Yep, yep. How he's always quoting it. He's like, oh, you know, the only, this scripture GMS be bringing out all the time. Alex Jones always bring out them Great Millstone scriptures. So you can tell he watches Great Millstone in particular. He probably still watches it. You know, a lot of people do that. They watch videos and steal some knowledge from it. Hey, what's the you got a description for that? Well, that's what someone that comes through the window. They try to come through to steal the knowledge. Oh, well, this, this will work too, 1 Corinthians 4 5. Therefore, judge nothing before the time until the Lord comes, who, who both will bring to light the hidden things of the yep. Secrets, you know, even though it's still not on Motherfucker portraying himself as some uh, some self righteous uh, uh, warrior, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, he, he claims to be a Christian. I think so. I'm going to be spoken scriptures and shit. <laughs> and people do look at him. You know, the kind of boy, somebody even called him a prophet. <laughs> and a man all of the, the world. time. I see that all the time. You know what I'm saying? For yeah. real. I was like, whoa. Oh. Ecclesiastes 12 and 14, for God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Bring it low. That's what Most High is doing. Whether he picks it up or not, but the Most High is destroying it. You know, a lot of times Most High destroys it before he picks you back up. So he probably take being destroyed as, as he probably not even knowing why it's happening, you know? So he probably getting yeah. fucked by trans. Yeah. You know? Hanging out with Charlie Sheen and then. Right. Because if you don't watch that shit, man, you don't take it a little further. And that's just keeping it real, man. <laughs> I, you know what? The thing is, when I went to those sites, man, I went to those sites and went to the common fucking boards. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? To the common boards, man. You know, to throw some scriptures condemning them devils to death. Fucking trans. Trans, trans, transvestite, homosexual. Yeah, well, we can't. Everybody doesn't see some weird shit on the internet. Right, fucking eating booty, man. Eating, eating another, that's some filthy foul shit, man. Eating another man's ass and then going up in it, man. Ugh. Some nasty shit. Fucking nasty shit. You want to talk about a lot of being vexed by the conversations of the wicked? 
Listen, we all examples of plot, man. All examples of plot. Oh, I got that scripture here, dude. Ephesians 5 and 11. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done to them in secret. But all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light, but whatsoever doth make manifest is light. So your boy Alex Jones got caught out there, man. Couldn't wait to get home to watch this shit. You know he on live on air, bro. So the most I got him proud. He forgot to clear his browser history. <laughs> What's the same thing for this one? Some Yeah. Right. Hey, the most hijacking him up. He on his way out. I want to see what happens with that Sandy Hook man. That's going to trial. That's short. Because that Sandy Hook shit was obviously a false flag. Somebody was right about that shit. I kind of wonder what charges they get. How did that out? They're trying to say that, uh, I don't even know exactly. Because that's actually public uh, information. Yeah, because they said that the, maybe it's for defamation or something. Because the parents of one of the kids are supposedly died with someone saying, I don't know exactly what he's charged with. That's a good question. Satan against Satan. Wicked condemning Satan. That's all I see. What becomes out of court, they can even find no way to die. That'd be crazy. And hey, we know the judges are being on that shit too. That shit was obviously a set up. Now they got him backtracking, apologizing for it. Say your boy Nate could be next. Uh, I U I C. Any, you don't know anybody could be next. And hey, that's the fear of the Lord right there. You know the Lord gonna get Nate in soup one day. It's just a matter of time. <laughs> that's some funny shit. <laughs> Yeah, he was probably, he was probably, he was probably watching that in the bathroom at work. Woo, wee, that's some funny shit. That is some funny shit, man. <laughs> oh, Alex. Did his wife leave him too? Oh, his wife been left him. He got a new wife. Oh, they got interviews of his wife on YouTube you can watch. Uh, what's her name? Uh, I forgot the bitch's name. Yeah. But she pretty much says he's fucking whacked out of his head. Well, actually, she made him look good in my eyes. She, she said he actually believes most of that shit he's talking about. But, uh, she said, uh, I don't know, she just seemed like... Bitch just seemed fucking whacked out of her head. He probably traumatized the bitch. Shit. I'm tired of that nigga watching that train. Yeah, oh, that too. Ha! <laughs> Proverbs 16 and 18. Pride go of people destruction. And the Holy Spirit is destroyed. Pride go before destruction. Now you see people getting proud out there. Hey, this is why you got a lot of dudes out here doing what we. Hey, how y'all doing? See you checking this out. A lot of people do what we do, but uh, they'll start bugging out. They'll start getting proud. They'll start rebuking everybody. They'll start telling the elders that they're wrong and they're, you know what I mean? Like what's some guys named uh, Tried and Refined? They all proud. They they about to collapse and fall. What's your boy? Yeah, oh, Sakari. He the worst of the worst. He's a goddamn black revolutionary, fucking Black Panther is alive. Especially after that, uh, that clown. So I made a date with a clown. He got an award. I've seen that shit. And he was like, I was, he pretty much gave a thank you speech to this. I was like, a thank you so much. All the niggas are smoking. Who the fuck is getting awards and shit, bro? That's some all clown ass shit. Some shit. For real? Acting like that's the uh, BET Awards or something. 
It is. Like you want it a Grammy. Yeah. You know, it is. Your boy want a Grammy. BT. I hate BT. And Sakari, though, them, they all think they're rappers and shit, too. They be making whole rap videos. This should be terrible. Right. What's that one dude that's with him, the Deacon or whatever they call him? It's terrible. It's horrible. First Timothy 5 and 1, you got an elder. They treat him as a father, but the younger man treat him as a brother. Yeah, so even if you got like, even for you younger brothers, younger brothers watching videos, if you got some problem with, you got a problem with something that's being taught or something, man, you need to pray on that. You don't just be going and rebuking for elders and stuff. Yeah, just openly, you know what I mean? How about you go ask them a question in private or whatever? But you gotta be respectful by the way you move, man. You can't just be rebuking elders. But like sometimes there's been things in maybe in the past maybe I didn't 100 percent agree with the weather, but I prayed on it, and then after a while I said I'd understand why they said what they said. It might just take you a minute to get it. You know what I mean? Sirach 10 and 13, for pride is the beginning of sin. He that have he sorry, he that have it shall pour out abomination. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pride, you're gonna pour out a number of fills and abominations. <laughs> That's why you got dudes out there making videos talking about the earth is flat. Talking about uh, what kind of bullshit they be teaching. Like that tried and refined. They teach so much crazy shit. You can't stay on top of all of them, you know? The footsteps of Mars. The footsteps of Mars. Who did? I don't know. The Israelite? No, no. I don't know who the fuck uh, was. Uh, I, I already know about all the crazy Mars shit. That's some bug down shit because it's all kind of talk they talk about going back to this shit. The obelisk on Mars and the face. They oh yeah, they said there's an obelisk on the moon of Mars. I know we yeah. is. Hey, there's probably some Jakes out there teaching that shit, talking about, oh yeah, uh ancient Egypt was actually Mars though. So we made the exodus from Mars on a spaceship to the Earth. That's coming next, you know? Jake like to teach some bugged out shit. Therefore the Lord brought upon them strange. Therefore the Lord brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly. Yeah, you don't want to get hit with, with them, one of them strange calamities. Hey, your boy that was out here, that was uh, Damon Wayans out here. He got hit with a strange calamity. He got beat with a baseball bat. Yeah, he had that proud spirit, didn't he? Where he was mocking us. Hey, ain't scoffing no more. You get hit with that baseball bat a couple times. That that'll stop it. He did apologize. He was all loud ass busting, man. This is crazy time. It really is. Every day. Every day. We angry with him. Little amongst these fucking assholes. Making our lives miserable as fuck. You can't blame yourself for everything. Just most shit. Motherfuckers gotta take blame too. Are oh, they gonna take blame? Again, we would be out of here for motherfuckers. For real? You're right though. Yeah. There's a fucking evil ass spirit out here today. I know, I may even feel like feel like death out here. I've been miserable as fuck all week. Woke up today extra miserable. Just hating this fucking world. Here we go. Secret 
well. Then said he to me, Son of man, hast thou seen what the ancients of the house of Israel do in the dark? Oh, shit. Yeah, the ancients talking about. <laughs> hey, remember I told you back in the day, my sister had a dream about, my sister had a dream about some Israelites that was worshiping the devil in secret. Oh, wow. She said it was not you guys, it was the mother guys wearing them crazy garments. Wow. She said, and I seen them, and they was doing witchcraft and sorcery in secret. Benjamin. Benjamin. You know what Benjamin is? Who said, oh, sorry. So I'm a Benjamin. That's you. When they call it Jamaicans, that's what you want. said that the law was for the sinner and not for the righteous. That's man. right. That's right. And we all sinners, man. So we're here to turn people back from unrighteousness back to righteousness. You know, you know, anybody know what that is in Ezekiel um, 3? Is it Ezekiel Yeah. 3? Uh, it's 2 or 3? If I'm correct, I'm talking about, you know, he goes through a list of it, man. The brothers is waking ones up and the ones that know something and don't try and wake a brother up, you know. This wisdom is beautiful. The so Lord's coming to save Israelites. He ain't coming to save niggas. <laughs> He's coming to save Israelites. Just Israel, man. Just Israel. Just Israel. This is Ezekiel 3 and 17. It says, uh, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel, therefore hear the word of, out of my mouth. Yeah, to the house of Israel. Because the Lord's only dealing with the nation of Israel to begin with. That's the Lord's people. Like, you know, the churches teach Jesus to love everybody. He don't save all nations. The Bible don't say that. Nowhere in the Bible does it say, oh, sweet Jesus, love everybody. <laughs> right. Actually, his name's Yahweh Shai. His name's not even Jesus. When you go, because he was a Hebrew Israelite. And he was an Israelite that spoke Hebrew. So his name was Yahweh Shai in the Hebrew. We'll go ahead and look at it. He said, therefore, here, uh, just like everybody there, he said, and give them warning from me. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, the Lord speaks to warn the wicked from his wicked ways. See, that's say, why we are here to clean our hands of all the wickedness we've done. We're cleaning our hands by working, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, that's part of, this is part of the work. To save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hands. So I'm just saying, that's blood. That's your blood will be required of our hands if we're going to get out here and do this work. So we're washing our hands of all our wickedness and you know? That's the hard part of the chip. That's the book of Revelation in the chapter. It speaks about it as you several scriptures in the Bible. As soon as you see they move into a castle society, as soon they, everything gonna be digital. All all money exchange is gonna be all digital. If you wanna buy something, you're gonna have to have that microchip in your hand or your head. That's how you're gonna just like now you got a credit card. Soon that credit card is gonna be on that microchip. It's implanted in you. You ain't gonna be able to start your car without the microchip. Get on the Coda bus without the chip. Uh, EBT, you're gonna need a chip. You name it, you're gonna need a chip. But the main thing, yeah, but the main thing is to eat though. Yeah, to eat. It's to eat, you know? Because these stores, these storefronts gonna shut down. They gonna, they're gonna stop delivering. That's where all this man is going to work. That's where everything's headed. To shut America down. You know? I don't know if any of y'all people are paying attention to what's going on in the news. How Trump is causing, uh, is uh, putting tariffs, taxes on his allies and, and China and everyone else and their mama. Those same people are putting taxes on America too. So it's a big massive trade war. All the people in America being shut down. World War III, ain't no goods gonna be shipped, gonna be shipped through those seas, man, coming back and going back and forth, imports and export. So these stores gonna become empty, man. Motherfuckers tell me gonna be problem. Well, here we go, y'all. This is Revelation 13 and 15, and he had power to give life 
to the image, this is what we're talking about, this right here. Image of the beast, that the image of the beast shall both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast shall be killed. And he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. You heard about, you get on, uh, look up Google my, uh, brain microchip. You know, uh, you know who Elon Musk is? Well, you got a lot of these tech companies and stuff, they already implant people uh, a microchip in their brain. So, so a lot of people get the chip in their hand. Some people got a chip in their brain too. There's a way you can get a microchip in your brain that allows you to get on the internet inside your mind. You can just Google shit in your brain. They already use them for like in the military, enhancing the soldiers. They trying to merge man with machine. You know what I mean? The scriptures tell you if you take that take that mark of the beast, that you're gonna be destroyed. And a lot of these weak-minded people, they gonna take it. how you can't even get in the building without the chip. If you want to eat lunch, they got like, a, you know, the cafeteria to pay for everything. They got videos on YouTube. Buy your lunch with the chip. Just do, do, do. You know what I mean? They, go, they create the situation where they, you know, we want the shit to happen now, but you know, we're tired of waiting for a period. We're just tired of even talking about it, you know? But All shit gonna happen. Right. They it's gonna create quick. the situation where they gonna make people get the chip. They gonna leave you no motherfucking choice, like you said earlier for national security. Money is, gonna, money is already being phased out. It's already being phased out slowly but surely. Hey, look at them scooters they got. You see the scooters? Oh, yeah. You can't even get on the scooter without a, a device. You can't just, you can't throw a quarter in the scooter. Yeah, you gotta have the app. You gotta load the app. Yeah, load the app. Right. 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 Yeah, you can't just throw a quarter in it. You know what I mean? Wait a minute. Um, 
Parking meters too take the credit cards. Yeah. You know? Yeah, parking meters too. Take all, all the credit cards. They took all of them. Yeah, like countries like Sweden, they barely use cash at all anymore. It's almost all electronic. They China. Pay like stuff with now, now not even. McDonald's too, you can you they got the barcode scanner. You just only like five percent of the Swedes use the cash. Yeah. <laughs> Almost all of China's cash. Yep, yep, yep. Sure is China too. And there's a job out west in Wisconsin. Yeah. They all the There's another one who came out in Florida too, a job is everybody just got shit. <laughs> so it's here, man. It's just like you said, they they're gonna create the situation where it's the, it's the economy going to fucking crash. It ain't just going to be America. It's going to be the world economy going to crash. And their solution is the hard part of the And they're going to make that chip look good, too. It's going to have a lot of benefits. You know what I mean? Like, especially the brain chip. Just think about what they can do with that brain chip. Give you some supervision. Now you can zoom in with your phone. Well, if you can do that just with your brain chip, you can just zoom in down the street like that. That's just going to be real. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. That's What's it. that movie with um, that pretty bitch, or sexy bitch? She was a robot, man. I think she played like an X Men. Or was it an X Men? Or she played Black Widow. I, don't know, I can't remember the name of the movie, but she's a. She's a yeah, that's it, Lucy. That's it. I think that's it. All I know the bitch is her hands were some robot. She got powers. She's a sweet fuck. They gonna make it attractive. The people gonna want to get that shit. Especially, imagine, imagine Michael Jordan come out get the chip. Oh, the chip you get, you get a free pair of shoes. I think it's gonna be fun. Oh yeah, you get the discount only if you got the chip. Mayweather's the only one. He's an exception. He carry around bags. Like his retarded ass. It's, that's stupid, man. You know all them thirsty niggas out here jacking. <laughs> you know what the fuck, man. Money Mayweather. You know they box. It don't matter. Niggas come with all kind of eight days. Niggas buy But you know, niggas. But the security, you can't trust niggas, man. The security calls their security. You can trust them. Shit, them niggas, they probably plot. They probably plot them as we have them speaking, man. They probably pop plot as we speak, man. Shit. That's how they got your boy Triple X. Get a bag of money on him. That's crazy. That's funny though. Heck, you can't trust niggas. Hey, just think, look, when you got the chip, they'll be like, oh, you can't get robbed now. <laughs> Ain't no more robbers. Yeah. How you gonna jack somebody if everything's on the tip? Right, right, right. You know what I mean? That's gonna be. Why <laughs> <laughs> what? Why what? What? Well, the devil's in rule. The devil control all this. The so called white man control all this. Yeah. So this plan is to bring it to the world, a new world order. They want to bring it to the world order, kill off the masses of the people so they can live in their, their filthy ass paradise. What they envision as their paradise. Like killing off the Georgia Oh, the Georgia Guidestones. You know about the Georgia Guidestones? Read about the Georgia Guidestones. Let me just pull it up. Georgia Guidestones are crazy shit. That's some crazy shit. Blow your fucking mind. It's like this big ass monument down in uh, Georgia. It was built by some Freemasons. This big, jig this big ass monument. He about to read it to you. I don't want to uh, get the exact words on it. <laughs> some crazy shit, man. <laughs> it, it's their plan. It's pretty much like the devil's Ten Commandments for what he wants to see in his uh, future kingdom. Like he said, they're trying to establish that new world order. I, have you heard of New World Order before? They want to have that one world government. One religion, one language. Well, they try to make, like you said, one, one world government, one, everything one, one language and shit. They're already kind of trying to do it with the United Nations, but they're going to push that shit. It's called Yeah, e Union. 
Here they go, Esau right there. What's up, Esau? Esau, the so called. Like, the ones that's really the world, they trying to be guys. You know what I'm saying? They trying to scare people, try to see, uh, they're trying to do everything. They trying to be guys. You know what I'm saying? When they get that chick, they can, they can, they can, they can tell uh, like, how sick you are with you got your sugar level on it. Yeah. Got every, yeah, you just monitor your sugar right there in your chip. Yep. Trim your trigger record. Yep. Got everything you can imagine on your whole life is on it. Just like when the cops pull you before you go. That's a tough skill. But once they ask you, it's a tough skill. Go type that shit in. You know? But shit. this time they're going to be walking around with something scanner, scanning the motherfuckers. They're going to be like Judge Dredd out of this motherfucker. Right, right. Here we go. You seen Judge Dredd? Judge Dredd. Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit! Today I saw a bitch with a Ouija board tattoo. You know they probably actually do it. She probably laid her butt naked. Ouija board. And they probably do a ceremony on it. Think about it. Sexy as fuck too, man. I guarantee you. Whole body. But I guarantee you she's even doing worship in yeah. secret. Yeah. She got that Ouija board on there for a reason. Yeah. She gonna lie down there butt naked. And they're going to have a ceremony on that bitch summoning up spirit. It probably works better that way. Yeah, hey, you notice that shit? You know the Ouija board is, right? They sell that shit at the store in the children's section. In the fucking, yeah, we broke all the board games and shit. And you want to go to Walmart, you got to go to the kids section. They got Ouija boards in there. The Exorcist? Oh, yeah, she was my little I ain't fucking with no Ouija board, bro. I remember back in the day, man. I came to seven. These bitches up in Rockets. Well, I met this wife. She took me to a friend's home. These bitches never been in a kind of conversation with me before. When I walked in, they were shocked anyway. And they took me down to the basement, and they all started to get the Ouija board out. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I was my fucking bitch. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, these kids, we used to play with that shit. Yeah. But like I said, man, when they started doing it, um, one of them was like this, and somebody grabbed him or some shit. I can't really say one of them, but one of them had a reaction like, oh, what the fuck, you know what I mean? They couldn't play some of that shit. Man. And we never seen that one, man. He was playing with the fucking Ouija board and shit. Oh, like, when, the, when they first started, I showed her this. She was like, I, I'm not doing this, I'm not doing this. You know? That's what you call a fucking necromancer. Giving her a spirit. That's scriptures against that. You know, what was that? King Saul? Man, it's called witches. You know? So there's a reason why this shit is real. It's mentioned in the scriptures. But here we go. Let's see what I mean. This is when you need a black guy in front of you to be higher power. The others turn to open. <laughs> so others look to form granite slabs in rural Newburgh, Georgia. In 1979, they used the name Mercy Christian. Rosa Crucian. Right. Across Georgia's Belberton Granite Finishing Company, who plans to build a monument, he stressed that money was no object and discretion was precarious. Uh -huh. <laughs> the design of the monument incorporated four granite slabs. Granite slabs. Yeah. That shit was built to last. Right. You want to build something to last, you make it out of stone. All the pyramids around the world. That's like those Jacob's. The scriptures say how this will stand. That's like no. <laughs> oh yeah, I, yeah. I the design of the body incorporates four granite slabs, each on the surface of a car ring, and a cluster of them. And top of a smaller horizontal slab. Each of the four vertical stones was described with the same ten precepts. Four humanity carved in eight languages. Listen. Oh yeah, this is like their ten commandments. These, these guidelines for a living range from common sense advice, balance, personal rights, to social duties. The new agate maxim applies truth to you, love, seeking harmony of the infinite, to downright for practical instruction, serve up with a hint of genocide, maintaining humanity every five hundred years. That was their first. When you read the actual guide stone, the first thing it says on the guy, I mean, these things are big as fuck, too. You say they're gigantic, they're like, they look like stone heads. You know what I mean? And on the first thing it says is maintain humanity under 500 million. And, it's eight, and there's 8 billion people plus on the earth right now. 
Damn. So that's their plan. Eight billion? That, Five hundred million? That's a lot of deaths. <laughs> that's what they plan. They plan to kill a lot of people. Right. So they can, they, they they know what's up. They gon they gonna push them buttons. They gonna push them buttons to the nuclear missiles. They got them diseases too, all the oh, biological man. diseases. Oh, Bill Gates just came out what a couple months ago said uh did a new disease, a uh, new outbreak break out any place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did he say? Yeah. Killed 30 million or something? I mean, hell, they already released uh, the incurable gonorrhea. You can't explain. Who wants to fuck a permanent, a permanent burning dick the rest of their life? The, the antibiotics don't even work on that. be cured. No. You can see here in Columbus. <laughs> Next hey, they said that new, they said that got new gonorrhea is worse than AIDS. theories on how they put diseases in the condom. You know what I mean? I, I heard a guess on what? I forget where I heard that. They said they put, they put AIDS in the condom. You know AIDS is a bio, uh, biological weapon, right? That only attacks uh, certain races. It's a race specific weapon. Like these white people, they can't catch AIDS. They eat them whites. They're not, not a white people, the sun. It's actually designed to kill you. They got proof on that. Just us. <laughs> Who was that? What's your boy, man? Uh, I'm trying to think of this research, man. This one out there. Charles Manson. Uh oh. Hey, Charles Manson was a J. Charles Manson. That's what the office is, Jay. Yeah, yeah. Damn, we go now, bro. They got the fucking game, son. Oh, Charles. He went, he went, man, his mind was being tortured. He was going to torture his mind. Hide me from the secret council of the wicked. They got them secret councils. They got the Freemasons. You heard of the Freemasons, right? That shit is real. They actually do some secret shit up in there to control this. You know what I mean? Like almost all these politicians is Freemasons. You got the churches. So a lot of these churches, they got their secret councils. I'm talking about where they meet in secret and they conspiring against us. You know what I mean? Now you see what happened with the Catholic Church. You see what's going on with that right now. Busted. Motherfuckers getting caught. They got giant pedophile rings. You know what I mean? That they in there raping children, worshiping the devil. It's crazy. You know what I mean? Because in secret, these motherfuckers is worshiping the devil. Okay, okay. It says, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. That's what they That's what it says. So that so they believe uh, conspiracy means apply. Conspiracy means, uh, actually, it means to breathe together. Yeah. I mean, technically. Uh, the word conspiracy means, well, to plot together or to breathe together. Conspiracy means, con means with, spire means uh, to breathe. That's where you get a respiratory system. So when you're breathing together, it means you're working with somebody else. You plot on motherfuckers, you know what I mean? It is, that conspiracy shit is real. They is really plotting on this out here. You know what I mean? I mean, that's why they put fluoride in the water. You know about the fluoride in the water? Harvard University came out with a study that said this shit causes brain damage to children. And they still putting it in the water. They're not taking it out. They, they, uh, they getting this with these vaccines. They shut your ass up with the vaccines. Next thing you know. They got, uh, they got, uh, they call it, uh, micro plastic, like, little-ass plastic shit. Yeah. They're mainly, like, salt, you know what I'm saying? But pretty much everything, really. Best phenol. And then, uh, Best phenol, hey. And then they say, uh, they say, uh, 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 
plastic can only get digested for 400 years. Yeah. That shit's only 100 years old. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, it has estrogen in it, too. Because that inside of my body is just born. It's still inside of me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, they, they know. Hey, come on. So they, 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 try to, they know what the fuck they're doing. They, they're not. They're not I just came out with that uh, that glyphosate shit made by Monsanto. Did you hear about that? The, the uh, bug spray that they spray in the crops with causes cancer. Like this, uh, this Jake, he just sued Monsanto and he won. Because he, he actually worked for him and he was out there spraying the crops and he caught cancer. And now he's like terminally, he's about to drop dead. You know what I mean? He's, there's no stopping, he's about to die. But he got rewarded like millions of dollars. But like cereals like Lucky Charms got that shit in it. You can get on the internet and look up uh, all the cereals that have the glyphosate in it that causes cancer. And they feeding that shit to us. You know what I mean? But they know, they know what causes cancer. Psalms 37 and uh, 12. The wicked plotteth against the just, and that's what we're talking about with this too. They, they plot against the just, okay? They, uh, They are feminizing the male, all the men now. Like I said before, we're a badass nation. This book, this warning us about our enemies, you know, it's a bad book. It's amazing. It says Psalms 83 and 2 For lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up their head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. Crafty counsel, I'm talking crafty. Yeah, mad scientists, that's actually the fucking laboratories. You go to the doctors in the hospitals, the very hospital where you go seek and help, they got scientists and the motherfuckers doing it. I mean, going through the microscopic level of shit, just how to do work, to, to, to do the worst to them, man. And then, know, they got, got cured for AIDS and cancer and all that shit. And that poison they kill us. Oh, you know about Chicago, right? All them shootings out there in Chicago? You know, a lot of people in Chicago say that's actually the cops out there killing people. That's what everybody's saying. The cops out there setting people up. Did you see that thing in the news that, uh, was the last week? About they left a, a, a truck full of Nikes out there. It's air trap truck. truck. Yeah, a trap truck. They just let the cops just left it out there to see who goes steal it. Trap but the people won't fall for it. You know what I mean? They have motherfuckers out there blowing the wood, you know? Yeah, blowing the wood. Hey, that's a trap truck. Bro. Yeah. You know, they call, actually walk up to the cops, calling them out. So they they using the cops against them. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's the whole fucking system. Man. They want to get you up in that. Look, in America, there's over 2.5 million people in prison in America. That's, man, that's like a so whole nation. 2.5 million. That's a nation. That's, that's more than all the rest of the world combined. That's yeah, that's slavery right there. And it, you know, most people's in prison for what? Some bullshit. Most of us probably drugs or something. Or some petty theft or some shit. You know what I mean? Yep. But then again, there's a lot of them wicked ones to be some Yeah. Well, I they hate. need to be put in jail. Hey, yeah. Shit. They I ain't setting up here. Right. They, it says, they have taken crafty counsel against my people and a console against thy head. They have said, come. And let us cut them off from being a nation. That's why we call them cut shit. Other than what we truly are, the Israelites. The Egyptians. People try to say they're Egyptians. Niggas look like Egyptians. Egyptians, man. That's a mystery, though. No, that's a mystery. Israel scattered among all the nations. <laughs> she gave us that look of death, bro. Yeah. Touch, touch. Let me finish this. 
They have said, Come and let us come to all from here a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. That's why he's like, What are we? You know what I mean? I don't know if we know the Israelites. People ain't, don't, ain't never heard of an Israelite. They read that again. They read the Bible, though. But oh, they, they read the Bible, but they ain't never heard of Israel. They, 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 they never identified themselves with it. You know, how can you read something in the Greek and it keeps mentioning it over and over? Israel, Israel, Israel. They just block it out. It's right, a, right, it's a right. block on it. It's you crazy. Can't see it. yeah. and when you read the scriptures, it clearly says the Lord only came for the Israelites. That's right. We got mass scriptures for that. It said, they have said, come and let us put them off from here in the nation, but the name of Israel may be known for in their remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent. Secret societies in their closed doors. Why they butt fucking each other and in coffins and shit, you know? That's what they do in their secret society. Get the coffins and do sexual acts. Yeah, that's a part of the on each other. And that's shit. part of the uh, the ritual in the Freemason. They call it the resurrection ritual. They lay in a coffin. Who was that movie? They was peeing. Uh, the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd. Watch the Good Shepherd. Seen that? With uh, Matt Damon. That's a good. You gotta watch that movie. It shows you how the CIA was formed, and it shows you that how it was pretty much formed by uh some called Skull and Bones. You heard of Skull and Bones? George Bush was part of it. But it goes into the, uh, the, their initiation rituals and shit. What's up, Skull and Bones? Yeah. 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 It says, for they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against me. That, that word confederate, I gotta look that up. With, actually means with faith. People who come together with faith together. Confederate. The tab listen, it even tells you the tabernacle of Edom and the Ishmaelites and Moab and the Hagarines, the Moab and Ammon and Amalek, the Philistines and the inhabitants of Tyre. Asher also is born with them. So it's all the other nations against us. You know? All of them. Yeah, just like in the, the transatlantic slave trade, you had the, uh, the Arab firing with the white man to put Jake in slavery. That's us. It's on all the other nations. That's our enemies. Those are future slaves. All the motherfuckers filthy, filthy bastards are, are future slaves. Heathen. I'll get that scripture. That's what we're looking forward to. That's what we come. That's what we come together in. Because we are agreeing on this, the scriptures that, all, that, like the scripture says, because we we have faith that these scriptures is true and real. What's that? Here you go. Damn right. Damn right. Right. Yeah. Right. But what what the least is really right. But what the least is really worried about is the elect, the 144,000 elect coming together. Oh, but it's going to happen. The Most High don't lie. I got to He don't lie. Yeah, here go the end of it right here. This is why they scared of them. They are scared. They are scared. They don't like You know why they scared of them? What's going to happen to them? Right. They are scared. They are scared. Let me read this. Uh, Bricks and that. They're going to go into slavery. Let me read this. Well, check this out. Let me read this scripture. Revelation 13 and 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. <laughs> he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. That's right. Now, look. That's here right. is the patience and the faith of, of the, the saints. saints. That's the good says, part. It says, right. It says, here is the patience. Patience means well, That's what we're waiting for. for. Patiently waiting for. Patiently waiting for. Because we know it's coming. Yeah. You know? So it's a bitch to bring got, that you know that's coming. We got faith that we know it's coming. We got faith, we right. know it's gonna happen. You know, your girl, you wake up, baby, look, look, I just got a raise, and I got this money advance that go buy you a new car tomorrow. And, and, and tomorrow. That whole night gonna go slow as fuck. Because you oh, think, yeah. oh, I can't, woo, 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 shit. It's gonna go slow as fuck, man. And that's how it's feel, because we know we about to get this power. We about to get all the unlimited riches of the, the universe, man. And it just seems like it's taking forever to catch it. These prophecies are speeding up. They're coming fast. It's Indeed. beautiful, man. Psalms 149 and 6. Let the high praise of the Most High be in their mouth. That's right in our mouths. We're broadcasting. 
and a two-edged sword in their hands to execute vengeance, to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, to execute upon them, the heathen nations, the judgment written. This honor has all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. <laughs> Beautiful. They're gonna take the, all the rulers of the world. They gonna get. They getting shackled. They getting shackled up. You know what I mean? That's right. That's right. The mission to the past shall be first. Man, we on the bottom. We the gut. That's how they look at us like we the gut. Says the meek shall inherit the earth. That's right. The meek. The meek is the poor. The lowly right. right. uh, shall inherit the earth and the, the galaxies, man. And the galaxies. You know. We're gonna be going to other planets, all that shit, man. other planets. This is bad, man. Most I created a whole universe. Not just to look at through it. You go buy you a nice telescope and shit. Uh, you know, go buy a telescope. We can't make all this stuff man. We serving a punishment right now. That's why we can't go out there. But we don't, we coming off our punishment. And that's why I was mentioning how it seems like it's taking forever. We can break the laws first. Man is fucking in here. This is fun. Plus, we broke the laws. I'm not just kidding. Let me just kidding. Some dumbasses. Let's get short. We're a bunch of fucking idiots. Oh, these. I mean, look, look at Israel. Look at, look at, look at these fools out here, bro. Right. All you gotta do is just look. <laughs> then you know why. You see how everybody acts. Ain't nobody got no goddamn sense. Right. What you know better I mean? example? It's just a look. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get a good example here in a minute. Why? We we'll wait for it. You around on it? It says here in Deuteronomy 28. Yeah. Uh, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, What's your boy Francis? Oh, no. oh, he was that one that had And thou shalt not go aside from any of the words which I command thee this day to the right or to the left to go after other gods to serve them. But it shall come to pass that thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, according to church's teaching. Yeah, they say you ain't got to keep the law. Don't do it on one post of us. There ain't nothing like that scripture. Yeah, everybody teaches it's okay to be a homosexual. Oh, man, you, know, you know, the scriptures say you're not allowed to eat pork after the Bible. And all our people, that's their favorite food, you know what I mean? The scriptures say you can't eat no shrimp, no catfish, no uh, hey, Jack going off, they out here celebrating Christmas. You know, that, that's actually uh, the hour. When you go into the history of Christmas, that's like some actual devil worship. Back, that is sun worship is what it is. They used to worship the sun on December 25th, back in the ancient world. Easter, they celebrate Easter. You know what Easter is? Easter come from the uh, Babylonian goddess Ishtar. That's where it gets its name, the goddess of fertility. That's why, they, that's why they got the Easter egg. They got a whole day set aside Halloween. Yeah, ho other people. got them saved. <laughs> Halloween. But it's so much fun. Get your children on. This is for, this is for the children. Well, children. Your children going to be put to death too. Children dressed up like devils, getting candy from demons. strangers. You got a bunch of demons. And that's why motherfuckers at home jacking off in their candy. Yeah, Putting yeah. poison and needles on all kinds of shit. They yeah. stuck a Tootsie Roll up their ass. Right. Hey. Right. Some shit going home. Ooh, damn, this is delicious. <laughs> Oh shit. Eating shit. We're famous on YouTube. I know that. But we famous for a bad reason, for a different reason. Though. We infamous. Not for a good thing, man. Right. The world hates the truth. Right? Yeah, the world hates this truth. Like they're supposed to. The majority are supposed to hate this truth. Which is a good thing. Let me go back to this to the To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So that's why we all fuck Because they're literally overtaking us, man. Shit, I wake up every day feeling like I'm a drunk fucking dead. For real. <laughs> Body aching for what reason? Damn, head hurt for nothing. You know, breath stinks sometimes. I don't want no stinky breath. <laughs> Shit. You know, teeth falling out. Because really, if we kept the commandments perfect, which oh, ain't nobody going to do that. Man, you probably live to be old as hell if you keep the commandments perfect. Some brothers got a erectile dysfunction. 
Man. That's a curse. That's a curse, bro. We all got our own curses, one way or the other. You know what I mean? We all fucked up. All of us, all of us, man. But you gotta learn why. It's because we broke the Lord's commandment. He's judging us as a nation. And he gets you individually, but he's judging us as a nation as well. So anyway, what's going on now, these curses are slowly lifting up off of us and they're going on to the end of this world. And there's little examples of that that we're going around and watching, you know? That's when they're going to fall, they're going to go down. That's right, that's right. But there's many scriptures to back this up. Yeah, right, I told you, the, what's the with the Lord is that the, the son of the Most High is? You know that you got the Heavenly Father, right? And then you have the, 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 the Messiah, which is not the same. And you know the church is going to teach the uh, called Jesus is God. And the scriptures tell us you got the Heavenly Father, and then his son is the Messiah. But the Father's name is Yahweh, and, and the son's name is Yahweh Shah. And that's very important. You know what I'm saying? That's that's more that's the most important thing to know. Is to know the name of the heavenly father and the name of the son. Because that's the that's the name that you pray in. Like when we say that prayer, we when we say the Lord's Prayer, you pray in the name of uh, you pray the name of the Heavenly Father and the name of the Son. Go ahead. It says, The God of Israel, behold, I will call. Oh, 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 you hear that? What does it say? The God of Israel. It's all about Israel. Behold, I will cross the sea down your eyes into the days, the voice of birth and the voice of gladness, the voice of wax and the voice of the bride. What did it say again, bro? What did it say that first part again? I will cause to cease. Cause to cease. Right. Uh, out of this place in your eyes, in the days, the voice of birth and the voice uh, of gladness. Enjoy the voice of birth, that's that happiness and partying. You know what I mean? They out here living shit up. They getting lit, you know what I mean? That shit going to cease. The Lord going to put an end to it. Can't wait to get off work. Like this bullshit right here, that's a perfect example. Perfect. Shit, like, I can't hate that, bro. What was he even fucking doing? That sounded like a megaphone, bro. No bass. No bass. No nothing to it. No kind of subject. That shit was trash. It was straight trash. That's why the Lord called the people today. It noise. It's, 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 it's you noise. know, noise is like taking a nail and scraping against the chalkboard. That's noise. <laughs> Ain't that the same thing, though? I'd rather hear that than the shit that they did. They got that, that, well, that, like that mumble rap, bro. They actually mumbling now. You can't. They was making fun of heavy metal. Now you can't. Now they doing the same thing. They doing the same goddamn thing. Getting drunk off some goddamn well, lean and mumbling. They playing some fucking instruments. At least trying to make up this sound. Shit. Who's that rapper? One main rapper said he loves that shit. Future? Uh, I think Future invented that shit. No, nah, some one of the main rappers, those two motherfuckers say he likes it. Oh, I don't know. I can't remember the fucking nigga that said he likes it. But some of their beats is good. Probably got family and shit. He, he came out and said he ain't had nothing to say about today's music. He said they should just change the message all over. Yeah, the message is terrible. There's no message in the music. There is no. The message is what get get you some sandy, some weed. That's what it's all about. Fuck over. I'll fuck your bitch. It's all about adultery, getting and being a drug addict. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like back in the old school rap, they used to rap about selling the dope. Now they rap about doing the dope. Oh shit. It says, It shall come to pass when thou shalt show this before the glory, and they shall say to you, unto thee, Wherefore have the hour pronounced all this great evil against us? Or what is our iniquity? Or what is our sin that we have committed against you, O our God? That's what we call sin is. They don't care. They'll get mad at us for it. They'll be like, Oh, that's bullshit. This is of everybody. That's what they'll say. They're like, they're going to steal, get the best of everybody. That's for your ass. Ass. You know, this is for everybody. You know? Go ahead. He says, Thou shalt say unto them, Because your fathers have forsaken me, saying, 
Yeah, I will. He's answering the question again. It's always going. You know why? Yeah, well, and we actually we are getting punished for what our forefathers did. Right. Like we was raised up teaching was okay to uh, celebrate Christmas. We was raised up, you know, taught all kind of bullshit. You know what I mean? But when you hear the truth, that's the most part reason why it gives you the truth. So you change from you make you know change from wickedness, you know, to turn to righteousness. Because a lot of people get mad with us. They're like, that's not what, how we was raised. Like, and we know that. that yeah, my grandma ain't teach me that. Like, of course, that's why you. Now we gonna teach it the right way, you know what I mean? Grandma Somebody gotta do shit. it right. Grandma don't know shit. Yeah, really, because you everybody think grandma is righteous. She got Ten Commandments on the bathroom. Picture of Jesus. She got yeah, picture of the she got that guy yeah. up there. She got a picture of a dump on her wall, but she everybody's looking at grandma like she's fucking righteous as all Grandma the biggest devil out of everybody. She the one that caused it all. Right. Every ho every holiday, grandma's the one. Uh, pick, uh, cooking that hand. Right. And the most high don't like that pork eating. That's Hell why we no. talk about that a lot. Hell no. Grandma ain't shit. Grandma ain't shit. Granny. Granny was a hug. My grandma was Baptist. My grandma was on my dad's side of the Baptist. Or the Baptist church. And they were talking about fucking Baptist women giving power and authority over I, yeah, I was raised as a Baptist too. Yeah, that's yeah. all you seen. The woman was running shit. Right. They had a they had a little revival, a little pot. Almost every dish would be ham, you know what I mean? Right. What the scriptures say, the scriptures even tell you they that leave All come in adultery. Yeah. There you go. Let me hold that up. Let me just get this real quick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
course you got a gun. You got the juice. You got the juice. <laughs> yeah, we have to pull that back. Yeah, we have to get mad at us and talk shit about women and play with. Lord talk shit about women too, because he said uh, I should make your men like women. Yeah, he said the music like today. Today, they would look at it as uh, what do you call it? Casual shit. Right, 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 right. Right, right. Same shit. Yeah, right. It's just for Adam was first. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, Adam was first. Yeah, the Lord put me in front of the men. He actually says that in the Bible. He actually calls uh, calls people dogs. He says that made men like women. And he actually called women bitches before bitches in the Bible. Adam was so strong deep, and Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in transgressions. Right, oh, that's another good thing, too, to look at. It's like, it just put a uh, reference to the Garden of Eden. You know the story about Adam and Eve, right? The serpent went to the woman first. Why is that, though? Because the woman is easier to manipulate. That's why in this government, the government always goes to the woman to turn the woman against the man. That's why they'll get the woman to leave the man. Like, you know about Section 8 housing, right? A woman can't get sex in a housing if she got a man. So that's one of them. They give women incentives in this country to be adulterers, to leave their husband. They give them uh, food stamps, EBT, all that. I saw a perfect example the other day of that too. I was cracking it. Oh, child support. There was a nigga that got thrown out at 3 in the morning. All, all she's got to do is call the cops, you're done. You out of there. She out of the porch, like, you fucking motherfucker, get the fuck out. And you heard me motherfucker at me, don't come back to me. He walking down the street looking sick. He yeah. left. I see the car that he drove away drive, and the motorcycle that he drove which drive was left. But he's walking down the street looking simple Sad, as fuck. Sad, man. That's looking fucked simple up. as fuck. Bro. And you can't do shit. At you three in the shit. morning. And the scriptures say, you know, like a woman committed yeah, adultery, you're supposed to kill the bitch. So you can't do that, obviously. You cannot fight back against the devil because they're gonna lock your ass up. You know what I mean? You can't you can try to go back get your shit or whatever. You can't kind of, kind of lock you up. Yeah, the shit ain't gonna get tore up. Yeah, it's like, yeah. gave it away to another nigga. <laughs> That's how they they break up the family like that. They go get the woman. They use the woman to break up the family. That's why in this country too, if a woman. Well, what happens if a man can't take care of his child in this country? You gotta pay child support, you don't pay child support, you get locked up. But if a woman can't pay for the child, what happens to her? She gets all kinds of assistance, you know what I'm saying? And helping her out. Oh, she, she's, a, she's strong, she's proud. Yeah, this is actually the majority of them. Yeah. The majority of them are dead the, Most of them, yeah. Yeah, the majority of women are dead people. Fuck a whore. They can't, they can't raise the children like a man can raise the child. They be the first ones to come against the man. They can't even take care of themselves. No. They gotta be told how to take care of their own fucking pussy. You know? yeah. 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 Yeah.
they get sucked to their numbers. Our bitches, they can get some chemicals. Get some chemicals. Yeah, go get some Simlax. Like, I ain't going to buy some of these. You know, instead of giving the natural milk that the most high gave to them, you know? That Simlax like can fuck a little baby though. That's important. They want to breastfeed. It's tight. They push it back up. You have to get it working. It tightens everything back up. That's why when that baby's sucking, they always come in while sometimes it's That's the most high work. I mean, how you gonna deprive the baby of a kid? Deprive that baby too. I know that concrete would get me too, boys. We out here stretching. It says, it says, the daughter of my people has become cruel, like the ostriches and the wolves. Yeah, these bitches are like goddamn ostriches. The Lord called him ostrich. Ostrich. You know what the fuck an ostrich is? That's a creepy ass fucking bird. Ostrich. The tongue of the sucking child gave it to me. For thirst. Shut the hell up. Yeah. They be crying because the baby diaper knee chain. Any babies you see walking around diaper full of shit, man. Diaper sagging. It'll be like that all day long, too. Baby walk around in a parking lot with a diaper sagging. That's great. You get some too. Uh, my little sister, no, my, my older sister, she got a, uh, she bought a new puppy and shit. A little bastard up there crying. I'm down here, I can hear it. Oh, wow. Like loud as hell. And then my cousin, I can hear him yelling at the dogs. I came upstairs to the their farm and I was too many. I was too many. I was too many. I was too many. I was And they were drinking. It was quiet. Went to sleep. Wow. Like, how hard is that? They do the same shit to, to babies, to animals, to anything. Right, my oldest daughter, the yep. same thing. They just throw the puppy in the garage. Yeah. Just throw the dog in the garage. Yeah. They put it in the cage all day long. And then, then, then not, nah, I take it out. And like, put it back in the cage. Like, damn, this been in the cage all the time. Damn, how you put it I feel bad putting a motherfucking animal, animal in the cage. Yeah. People, they, people don't, man, they don't take care of shit. You know what I'm saying? They're just animals. That's why you always hear stories about bitches smothering their baby. Bitches that killed their baby in the hospital right after they had it. <laughs> what? Okay, oh, yeah, hit me with some Mosquito Bay 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 they can get me with some bacteria. Don't let that bitch go down the alley here, baby. That baby don't get no Oh, Brenda got a baby. That's part of everything that's going on with What's that? Brenda got a baby. Bro, we just talking about this, these wicked ass women. Oh, I think it's all racist, too. Everybody talking about this bitch black. It's all Israelite women, shit. Shit, Israelite women come in all kinds of shapes. You never watched Tommy Sotomayor? Uh-uh. Oh, that's an inside joke. What's that? What's I was talking about the T-1000. Oh, you're going right here. Oh, shit. It's an i3 T-1000. That's an upgrade model. <laughs> she got that new chip. <laughs> oh. Here you go. The tongue of the second child cleaving to the roof of his mouth for first. The young children pass bread. And no man break the bread unto them. They that feed delicately are desolate in the streets. They that were brought up in scarlet and priests don't live. For the punishment of the iniquity of the daughter of my people is greater than the punishment of the sinners. That was overthrown as in the and no man stayed Damn, we said the punishment of Israel can be worse than Sodom. Yes, right. Ooh, Sodom. The Lord destroyed Sodom with fire. So two thirds of these people out here, bro. Sorry for the man trouble, man. Just the the 
Scripture's talking about that lake of fire. When you open them chariots, we're gonna get beamed up. When you gonna look down, you gonna uh, America gonna look like a lake of fire. Lake of fire. That's all you gonna. It's going to be a lake of fire. That's all you gonna see is fire. Check this out. Check this out. And all the haters, everybody that was hating, they just gonna be ashes. Here we go. Isaiah 25 and 18, and it shall come to pass. Oh, let me read that again. And it shall come to it pass. It shall come to pass. That he who fleeth from the noise of the fear shall fall into the pit. And he that cometh up out of the midst of the pit shall be taken in a snare. For the windows from on high are open, and the foundations of the earth do shake. The windows of on high. That's What's that mean? What's that mean? The nuclear missile is going to go from one continent into the other, come right back into the atmosphere. Boom! Boom! That's the nuclear missiles. It ain't nothing but the anger of the Lord when the nuclear missiles here. That's the Lord's anger. The know? Lord the one really got the Lord the one that gave him that technology. Damn right. You know what I mean? Damn right. The earth is utterly broken down. The earth is clean dissolved. What's this talking about, man? Woo clean dissolved. Fire is what does oh, that fire. perfection. That's how fire. you purify filth with fire. Dissolve, that's right. You wanna you, uh, you get rid of all them uh, uh, the little diseases and filth. That's right, the burn. burn it. The earth is moved exceedingly. So it's gonna be massive earth. Like I said, the earth is gonna be rearranged. There gonna be no, it ain't gonna look the same as it is now. It's gonna look totally different. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard. It's saying the earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard. <laughs> ain't gonna, you know, a motherfucker fucked up. Like. <laughs> Yeah, the earth. I mean, they're gonna missiles. be wobbling. They got all them missiles. You know, they talking about the earth for the earth changing axis. The earth. Some people are stuck and stupid, man. The earth ain't gonna be destroyed. Right, right. It's gonna be purified. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard, and shall be removed like a cottage, and the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it, Woo. and it shall fall and not rise again. That's fire. That's literal fire, sir. Damn right. Like, that's Damn fire. Right. Hey, let me get this. Let me get that Malachi since we there. Malachi 4 and 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall not. Ah, damn it. Love it Satan, Satan tried to get up and phone him. Satan didn't like that. Check it out. You cannot put your hands in the oven at 350 degrees. At 350 degrees. But the scripture says the day shall come that shall burn, burn up. Like up. Oh, you can miss it burning over a million degrees. Let me liquefy something. Let me read the rest of this. It says, In the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, the Lord of hosts be the Lord of armies. So the Lord coming out of the heavens with him chariots. That it shall leave them neither root nor branch. But unto you that fear my name, which why we told you that name was important. But unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and ye shall go forth and grow up of calves of the stall. And ye shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet in the day that I shall do this, saith the Lord of hosts. That's just the elect. That was fire right there. Only the elect will survive this. Only the elect. That's not fire. You just can't make yourself the elect. Oh, no. We can't make ourselves do nothing. Right, damn right. You know, through faith, we don't believe we're Yeah, but that's why I don't understand. They're trying to build all these underground tunnels. Well, let them. Oh, that's scriptural too. We got scripture for that one. That's scriptural too. Look at that. Because the wicked, they plan on coming back out after the smoke settles and doing the same thing all over again. Building this shit back up. Ah! Do the same, same, let trannies 
walk the streets let men and women, men sleep with men and women sleep with women and dogs and cats and... They go out, they, they, we're going to be going up in them time. And taxing and all kind of forms of robbery. They want to continue this shit on. Yeah, man. You know? I got that scripture though. That's that there ain't safe nowhere, no matter. Oh, uh, ain't no safe. Only, only ones gonna be safe. The ones that are the so we're gonna have power like Superman, bro. We're gonna see through the motherfucking oh, Look, Jeremiah 16 and 16. Behold, I will send for many fishers, save the Lord, and they shall fish them. Right now we out here fishing. Like the Lord said, I'll make you fishers of men, right? We out here fishing. You know what I mean? Seeing what we can catch. We throw out the line, we might pull in a tire, pull in a boot. Pulling a catfish, throw it back. You know what I mean? Back. Nah, bro, throw it back. Ain't even. Behold, I will send for many fishers, saith the Lord, and they shall fish them. And after, I will send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain, from every hill, and out of the holes of the rocks. <laughs> oh, came, Satan came through. He didn't block it off. He didn't hear. Yeah. Yep. Then it can come at the evil one. <laughs> Every time you try to get to that one point, bro. Yeah, yeah. But look, I'm going to read it again. Behold, I will send for many fishers, says the Lord, and they shall fish them. And after I will send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. Bunkers. Bunkers. They got them under the seas. They build it in oceans. They call them dumb. You know? right? They got the space station where a lot of people oh, are going to go. Coming for you. Know? They got all kinds of shit. Just for the elites. Not for anybody, not for millionaires or billionaires. This is for the elites. Yeah, the elites, yeah, they, 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 they trying to hide out. They, they do got plans. They going, some of them going, that the elite and elite want to hide out in the space stations and shit while the missiles hit. Right, but them fools do got a lot of rich. They do have bunkers too. Yep, they got underwater bunkers. Right. But you, these fools are building bunkers right here in America that's going to become a lake of fun. Yep. Ain't nobody gonna survive. If you left here in America, you fuck where you are in America and how deep down you done dug, ain't nobody coming up out of this motherfucker but by the war. You know, that's the only way you gonna leave out of here alive is by the war. You're living you up out of here alive. Ain't nobody gonna be walking out of here or flying out of here. <laughs> you know, this is it, man. You know? I love being a part of the power against the sinful kingdom and I will destroy it from on the face of the earth. I mean, that was the point of it. Actually, not. Oh, go ahead. That's the point. They were 92. No, they dig into hell. It's the underground. Oh, yeah, they dig into hell. They got their little fortresses. This shall my hand take them. Though they climb up to heaven, this will I bring them down. And Though they hide themselves to the top of Cumbro, I will search and take them out of this. And though they be hid from my sight in the bottom of the sea, this is like the head of the head. Fire. Fire. That's something they don't want to see. <laughs> Dumb ass. We go right in the ocean and took some fancy ass They don't think they like Namor the Submariner or some <laughs> right, shit. Right, right. Captain Nemo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They little raggedy man. shit, we did. Right. And they got some shit though that be like, you can see like, wow. It's probably plush too. Now that's it, they got some uh, luxury restaurants. Them Arabs got them. You go, go to an underwater restaurant. A fine dining restaurant underwater with sharks and shit going by. Shit, 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 they feel like sort of great. Yeah, that's where it was at. Katar and shit. Oh, damn. That's, I think that's probably what I'm talking about. Some madness, man. Wow. Yeah, fuck all that. Right there in the middle. <laughs> That's crazy, man. That's that proud spirit. Yeah, yeah. You know Jake ain't never gonna do no shit. Yeah, I don't think he fucked up, bro. Was Jake probably not sign that shit. Bro. Probably was. Crazy yeah, ass. Jake don't answer. He's like, oh, I'm about to, I'm about to I get to live here eventually. <laughs> Stupid. Stupid. Go, man. Shit. Uh, Revelation 6. And I'm gonna start. Uh, 12 
point is in 14 it says and i beheld when he had opened the six seals and lo there was a great earthquake and the sun became black and sunk off the hair and the moon became as blood the stars of heaven fell onto the earth even as a fig tree cast her a time of wind which he had shaken of a mighty wind and the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together in every mountain and island were moved out of their places and the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men and the chief and the chief captain and the mighty man and every bound man and every free man hid themselves in the dens and the rocks of the mountains and said to the mountains and rocks fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the lamb for the great day of his wrath has come and who shall be able to stand yeah who shall be able to stand from the wrath bro they said he gonna they said the heavens gonna be rolled together as a scroll how do you how do you roll that in all that islands and everything when we put out that place? That's talking about that fire. Or a bomb, a perfect example. And you, because you can see when the missiles hit, how that, that when the nuke hits, it looks like it's rolling. It rolls like a stroke. He has military weapons and got a chance to hear the bitches go off. I bet that's a hell of a sound too. Hell yeah. What's up, bro? He looks like that dude from Jaguar White. Hey, Jaguar White is living in Apocalyptic, man. You see it in the animes and shit. That's part of their culture. Like, 